Exterior, Connemara countryside, night. Darkness. The occasional car light illuminates the roadside. A sign reads, letter frack, 10 kilometers. Deborah, voiceover. My father didn't always live in Galway. Once he worked on the roads in London, driving pavers mostly. One day, Wally Regan, the foreman, and a good man by all accounts, lost his leg in a steamroller accident. Died right there on the spot. In a patrol car, Francis Wheeler, 60s, drives through the back roads of Connemara, straining to see ahead of him. He's looking for something. Wally's after dying, they shouted. That's how they used to say it. They didn't say he was dead, only that he'd finished dying, like it was a journey. Don't think my father fully understood that. Not sure I do. Turning a bend, the lights of Francis' car pierced the darkness. Living is easy, my father would say. Can't say I ever agreed with that statement. But for these men, dying was the hard part. The only part worth mentioning. The lights shine on a body, unconscious at the wheel of a car on the side of the road. Francis pulls over, emerges from the car with a flashlight in hand. He goes to the car and opens the door to examine the lifeless body. I've known Tommy Delaney for near 25 of my 45 years on this earth. Never knew him to walk a dog, let alone be out in the Connemara Hills at this hour. Francis is taken aback by the sight of his friend before him. Tommy's after dying, they'll say. Hopefully he didn't die too long. From the script department comes The Parish, a three-part story about an aging conman trying to rebuild his home after the death of his brother and the unsolved case of a stolen painting that threatens to unravel everything. Coming this May. <laughs>